Hello and welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam and today I'm opening up Crypt of Chaos, which is a dungeon crawler, which is different every time you play, which is always good. Um, it's by Crystal Dagger Games and they sent us a review copy, so thank you very much for this, guys. You can play this solo, you can play this two-player co-op, and there's also a chaos mode. Um, let's take a look and see what's inside. So as you can see from the size of my hand, um, you know, I don't have a, a especially large hands here, so this is just kind of going to give you an idea of how small this box is. Um, it's, it's kind of hand size, which is great. This will fit easily on your shelf. Uh, you can take this into work when we're allowed to go back on to, to work and things like that. But the artwork on here is lovely. I really enjoy what they've done here. You've got all your, uh, your characters along the bottom here. And then there's a bit more on the side. And I love the names on these. They're really, uh, really cool. Wolf Howl the Barbarian, Vixen Blade the Warrior, Arch Magana the Mage, Crianthia Cri the Dark Elf, Beoblood the Orc, and Evan Elith the Forest Elf. So they're the six characters you can play in this. Uh, let's see if I can get into this. Oh, straight away, right in there. So there's nothing on the inside of the box, just in case you are concerned. And I know Jamie always checks out these unboxing videos to see if there's anything in there. There's nothing in there for you, Jamie. Um, so we have a rule book, which is, yeah, quite, quite kind of smaller. Um, but yeah. So the different modes you've got in here. So you've got the solo adventure, you've got the two player, and the chaos mode. It's a faster, more difficult challenge with no chest to search but just as many monsters to fight. Okay, and uh, we've got a story in here. So the story so far. As you step through the ragged opening in the crypt wall and into its gloomy interior, you are startled to see the stones tumbling back into place behind you, magically fitting together to seal the hole you entered through. There is no turning back now. And to see the rest of the story, you'll have to watch our gameplay uh, of this. So um, yeah, really nice kind of like artwork in here. Very well laid out. I mean, yeah, looks pretty good. And that's it. So you've got about probably like eight to ten pages of rules to look through. And it's not even a real big page. So you should be able to consume this fairly quick. Um, stuff in the back. Uh, let's have a look at our characters themselves. So you've got this, these characters in here. So let's get into that. Open this off camera so you can't see me struggle uh, as I'm inept at opening things, which is always good when you're doing unboxing. So let's take a look at Vixen Blade, the warrior. So um, she's got a decent health, one attack and zero defense. Um, she Vixen Blade holds no fear of crypt crawlers, but they have every reason to be fearful of her. Any crypt crawlers that she encounters are killed immediately. No combat's required. And in chaos mode, she's got these abilities down the bottom here, or these items. So yeah, you only start off with these items. So okay, that's interesting. So yeah, so that's that's Vixen Blade the Warrior. That's one of the characters you can choose. Wolf Howl the Barbarian. I mean, look at that art. That's great. Okay, so he's got slightly better health um, and um, like double the attack as the uh, of the warrior there. Special skill: Wolf Howl strides in the crypt unarmored, unafraid, and with no special abilities. He says that he distrusts magic and that his strength is all he needs to win. Well. We might just have to put that to the test. And, um, you know, I might play as Wolf Howl because he's the character that closely resembles my physique. Uh, <laughs> actually, this, this guy probably is more likely. Uh, Agmagana the Mage. So uh, he's got a bit of defense. First one to have some defense here. Um, slightly less health than the Warrior. Special item, skill, or ability. The Mage is taking no chances. It's wearing his magical robe of Rock Troll Invisibility. He may pass rock trolls and search any treasure chest they guard, they guard completely unnoticed by them. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those rock trolls. And obviously, rock lobsters as well. Beoblood, the orc. I mean, look at this guy. He looks awesome. So, um, the, the worst health so far, I believe. Uh, but one attack, one defense. The orc's all-consuming hatred of goblins induces a powerful, bloodthirsty rage within him, within him, so violent that his attack score is increased by plus three when fighting goblin guards. Wow. Watch out, goblins. Uh, then we have Cranthia, the Dark Elf. So, uh, 17 health, zero attack, and one defense. Dark Elf casts a spell of awareness on herself and suffers only minus one damage from all traps. If she finds the Amulet of Awareness, she suffers no damage from traps at all. Let's take that, traps. 
And finally, we have Evenolith, the Forest Elf. So, um, 17 health, one attack. Uh, Evenolith has mastered techniques that help her to dominate even some of the most evil creatures of the crypt. All rock trolls and fire raids she encounters begin combat with one health token. So, that is your six characters you're going to the dungeon. You also have a couple of avatar pawns in it, because this is a single player or, um, or co-op two player. So, you get this green and this pink kind of uh, avatar characters here, and they're really nice. I like those. And it's not like a boring colour. You've got green and pink there. And like the the kind of it's not it's kind of like kind of see-through clear plastic, which is nice. And then we have some very dinky cards here. So uh, we have our chest cards here, and we have our monster attacks and our um all our tiles and stuff. So let's have a quick see if I can open this. So um, you've got your kind of dungeon tiles here. Champion attack cards, you've got some spiders in there. Um, you have some interesting like looking monsters in here. So you can be laying these things out and hopefully um, get through this entire dungeon. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, you've got your monster track champion decks, the different dungeon decks. So you just have to sort through all these, put your dungeon decks into three different dungeon decks, your champion attacks in one part and your monster attacks in another. So let's take a quick look at what we get inside our chest. So there's a couple of different chests in here. Um, in here, oh, I've been, my, my English accent is, is going terrible. I'm dropping my H's all the time now. Um, so you've got some green chests, your yellow chests, and purple chests. Um, so... Take a look. So the amulet awareness. Well, we know if one character gets that, um, I believe it's Crian. Crianthia. Yeah. If uh, she gets this and she suffers no trap damage at all, so that's in the green chest there. Let's take another look. A crossbow trap in the green chest. Yellow chest. Oh, another crossbow trap. Purple chest. The ring of ruin. You find a curse ring. All dead crypt crawlers come back to life. Flip the monster markers. Wow, that is not a nice one to be drawing. And here's a crypt crawler. We've heard them mentioned, but here they are in the in the flesh. So, um, health of five, attack of two. When they're dead, they're dead. And that's obviously you have the, the ring of ruin. I bring them back. Um, the rock troll that the wizard is uh, invisible to. Decent health and uh, a pretty damning attack there. And you've also got some health tokens here, which are represented by cards. So there's no tokens in this game or, or dice to roll and stuff. This is all handled by card play, uh, which is good. The uh, Gloves of Glory. Uh, these big old gnarly gauntlets are a great find. You slip them on, gain plus one defense. So you're going to have a ton of these things in, in this kind of uh, this deck of things. Uh, cards even. And they've got a nice little um, kind of box there to split things up. Nothing underneath, in case you're wondering. Um, and yeah, that is, I mean, I can't unbox anymore. I've, I've physically gone as far as I can. But that's what you get inside Crypt of Chaos. If you like the looks of this game, guys, then stay tuned to our channel because I will be taking a run through of this. Um, and I might ease also bring along shows for the ride to see how two player works for this. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, then please like and subscribe to our various different social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Um, and yeah, stay tuned because this will be on here. And until next time, guys, I've been the ever excitable Adam. Stay safe and keep rolling.